Happy New Year and welcome to a new year with Eye Care News. I'm Tedra Deshida. The 2014 Watch Night service was a wonderful and joyous time in God's presence, filled with dancing, singing, and all-round rejoicing as we looked back and counted our many blessings. Eye Care News teamed up with the production department to bring you the year 2014 in review. And people are not taking that point. You want every other point to fail. So what happens naturally is that you stop helping the points of the others because you want to prove that your point is the right point. So once there is a mistake or there is a fall, you say, hey, I told you. Because we use that to justify our positions even though we are praying and speaking in tongues. fast for 100 days and still don't know why you are on earth it is a hunger strike not a fast Really hate me because he's tried to kill me several times. 
when I was, um, when I was, even before I was born, the enemy tried to abort me. That didn't work. Um, when I was like eight, the enemy tried to burn me alive. That didn't work. Um, and then a couple, I think a year after, the enemy tried to drown me. That didn't work either. Um, when I was a teenager, the enemy tried to talk me into killing myself. That didn't work either. And um, this year, the enemy has tried three times while you know I was driving on the highway, just try to um, have accidents happen my way, but God has spared me through it all, and Lord. I just say thank you. Hear me, it is not our worship experience. Where the church finds its identity is not in how you worship alone, but it's how you live. You're going to wake up every morning and you're going to decree and declare the spirit of the Lord is upon me. You know there's a scripture that says money and sweat unto all things. Right? And people misinterpret it. They, 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 what they say when a believer says money and sweat unto all things, he's saying to you that money is the answer to everything. Money is not the principal thing. Money can answer to all things, but who tells you the answer it gives is correct? <laughs> Wow, despite so many challenges, God really did give us a lot to be thankful for this past year. We pray that his promises of great exploits for 2015 will come to pass in all of our lives in Jesus' name. To begin this new year, we need to charge our batteries. RCCG Worldwide will fast for 40 days beginning January 2nd to February 10th. Those who want to fast continuously for 20 days and 20 nights will cover the 40 days and every day that is missed or skipped within the 40 days will require another day added to the total number of fasting days. The 2015 Open Heavens devotional by Pastor E.A. Adeboye is now available in the Place of Truth bookstore for $15 each. You can pick up your copy today after service or see Lara Izobi. Please, don't forget to fill out the wellness card that's passed around every Sunday. Remember, this is one of the ways the church ensures that every member is cared for. If you are a doctor, nurse, pharmacist, or other medical professional. Please join the Fumi Adewale Foundation in the 2015 medical mission trip to four villages in Oyo State, Nigeria. Visit www.fumi.org or approach myself, Tejo Adeshida, Deaconess Yetunde Okesonya, or Laolu Oladosu for more information. Please mark your calendar for the Evangelism Conference on January 9th and 10th with Pastor Augustine Poku. For more information, please see Deacon Eugene Frimpong. The RCCG Israel Tour for 2015 will be May 8th to the 17th. The cost of the trip will include flight, lodging, and meals. If you are interested in this once-in-a-lifetime experience, please visit www.rccgna.org for more information. 
Keep in mind that all applications and deposit must be submitted by January 31st. Here are this week's programs. Join the Early Risers prayer line at 6 a.m. from Monday to Friday. The phone number and access code are on the screen and in your tune-in bulletin. Faith Clinic will take place on Tuesday at 6 p.m. and Care Centers will meet on Wednesday at 7 p.m. If you do not belong to a care center yet, please stop by the church office to find out the center that's closest to you. As we begin 2015, it's time again to set new goals, make new plans, dream new dreams, and work towards a positive and fruitful year. Whether you are trying to improve your character, career, finances, spiritual life, social life, or anything else that needs improvements in your life, goals are very important to help you stay focused, motivated, and to monitor your progress. So, in between the New Year's celebrations, take time to write down some goals for yourself. And as you set those goals, do not lean on your own understanding, but remember to look onto Jesus, the author and finisher of your faith, and He will turn things around for you according to His beautiful plans for your life. Thank you again for joining us. I'm Tejo Adeshida. From all of us here at I Care News, Happy New Year once again. Enjoy the rest of the service and take a word home with you.